welcome to online courtside with me today if you are new to my channel welcome and thank you for joining me let me start off by apologizing for last week y'all i took some vitamins okay and the vitamins broke my whole forehead and middle of my head uh face out so badly that i couldn't even record so it's all cleared up um with a few specs hopefully it's not too noticeable um, and so now I'm ready to record. So most of you who watches my channel knows that my channel is geared towards the more mature uh, dater. If that is you, then you've come to the right place. Please click that like button and subscribe to my channel um, so that you don't miss any of my new weekly content. So today we're going to be talking about essential dating tips. So tip number one, be confident. If you know that you are a catch, act like one. Let your no's be no and your yes be yes. Don't come off as desperate because men like to hunt and they will spot that out every single time. I am going to tell you the signs that you are probably being desperate and you probably just never even paid much attention to it. When a guy approaches you on a dating app, if you're available every single time, they address you, that's a sign that you are desperate. Don't allow yourself to be always available on a dating app. You know, if you don't have a life, get one. Do something that you enjoy doing. Like if you enjoy cooking, if you, you know, go volunteer somewhere where you can actually do that and um, you enjoy it and possibly even get paid for it. But don't always be available when somebody contacts you on a dating app. If you're on the app, then respond. But if you're not on the app, like you don't have to just go out your way to try to respond back. Another sign that you're being desperate possibly on a dating app is, is that you're not speaking up. If you don't like the way something is going on a dating app, let it be known. You know, open your mouth and say what it is. Don't act like you are enjoying something if you really truly are not. Another sign that you can very well be desperate on a dating app is, is that you drop your standards. So you meet someone and say, for instance, if you don't date men who um, have more than three children and then you meet someone and they have three children and you make an exception for that you are down dropping your standards. Don't do it because when you start doing that, what you are doing is allowing a guy to get away with things that you know that you don't like. Don't drop your standards. If you don't like it, don't engage with it. My number two tip is understand that dating online, it's a marathon and not a sprint. So you're not going to match with everybody that you come across with. What I find is that many people who date on dating apps, after a month or two, they tend to get off of the dating app. It's usually right back on that same dating app or another one a week or maybe two weeks later. When you date online, you have to see dating online like a job interview. You might apply for six or seven different jobs but only one is going to call you for an interview and you're going to accept it because it's compatible to what it is that you're looking for. Look at dating online in that sense. My number three dating tip, make sure that you are putting up high quality photos. And when I say high quality photos, I mean photos that showcase your best features and showcase your best angles. So say for instance, if your smile or your eyes are your best features, make sure that your eyes and your smile is popping in every picture. So, you know, every picture that you might put on a dating app, make sure that it showcases those features, all right? So that they are very noticeable because those are your best features. If it's your angles, make sure, uh, and what I mean by angles, like if you take a picture of maybe waist up, you know, make sure that it's showcasing your best angle, you know, turn to the right or turn to the left and make sure showing what it is that you're trying to convey. You want your picture to tell a story about you without you saying one word. Have you ever looked at pictures where the picture was just so beautiful and you thought, wow, that's really nice. You say these things to yourself. 
that's how you want other people to see your photos when you take your photos. You don't want to be taking photos with different people in your photos. I noticed that when I date online, if I see a guy and there's another guy in the picture and one of them send me a message, oftentimes I'm confused because I don't know which one is which. And oftentimes they're not making it clear in their bio which is which. When you're taking nice quality photos, make sure that it's just you in those photos because if you're doing a paid subscription, you have to pay monthly. So you don't want to pay for somebody else to be in your photos. You want to pay so that you are in your photos and you know every shot is of you in the photo. My tip number four, keep your conversations short, sweet, and to the point. And what I mean by short, sweet, and to the point is just this. If it's a guy approaching a woman, allow him to lead. If he says hi to you on a dating site, hi, how you doing? Of course, you want to respond back with, oh, I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. How are you? And then allow that person to go ahead and lead the conversation until you are comfortable enough to where you're ready to actually start up the conversations. Like what you want to do is you want to make sure that there's been an interest made before you actually just start jumping off and, you know, um, become a Susie Chatterbox in the conversations. You want to make sure um, after you vet it a little bit that they're looking for what you're looking for and that they're serious about what it is that they're trying to do with you and vice versa. My tip number five, instead of the classic, hey, hey, how you doing? Do something a little different. Now it's football season, so if you initiate a message, say something along the lines of Cowboys or Steelers. That's a great way to sort of break the ice when you're talking to someone online. And then if you know, you've read their profile and maybe they're not into sports, maybe they're into reading or something along those lines, ask them 48 Laws of Power or the Five Love Languages, either or. You know, that will be a great way to kind of break the ice when you're just now talking to someone online. My tip number six, if you are not doing any type of paid subscriptions, get into paid subscriptions because oftentimes I find that when you are doing paid subscriptions, you are getting a better quality of men. Men that's typically on paid subscriptions understand that right time is money. Most of them are going to be of quality and they're going to be more serious about dating you or even getting to know you versus if you're on an unpaid dating app. Try to invest a little bit into paid subscriptions. Tip number seven is for ladies who are over 40. So you have to be open-minded. I am over 40 and I understand that it is not easy dating out here over 40. I also understand that we're in a new wave of dating. So we're not dating like we did when you meet somebody pretty much the boy next door and you just kind of hit it off with them or the guy around the corner. Um, either way it go, it wasn't too far. Now we're in a new wave, to, which is online. So when you're dating online, you have to be open-minded and open to trying different things. For instance, if your dating radius is up to 10 miles, sometimes you're going to have to go up a lot further than that, like maybe up to even 50, 60 miles. You may not have the type of men that you're looking for within that 10-mile radius. So sometimes you got to take it up a few notches to get what you want. Don't be afraid to date outside of your race, okay? If you're comfortable with it, get outside of your race. One thing is for certain and two things is for sure. You can best believe that dating in your 40s and plus is a heck of a lot different than dating when you were in your 20s. If you meet a halfway decent guy, and what I mean by halfway is just this. If he has morality about himself, if he's easy on the eyes, you know, if he's a decent person, he, got, he has character about himself, he works every day, 
uh, has his own car, his own house, not out trying to run game, genuine person that meets your boundaries and your standards. For the most part, you can deal with almost anything else. We have it hard, ladies, but please understand that men do too. My number eight tip, recognize when you are being toyed with. If you meet someone who's sending you uh, sporadic messages here and there, uh, one day they may, hey, how you doing, and wanna talk to you. Uh, the next day, you don't hear anything from them. Uh, maybe you text them, they didn't respond back on the dating app. And then all of a sudden next week they come and they with the same, hey, how you doing conversation and it never even, and it never goes anywhere. You're being toyed with. Another way you might be being toyed with is they are breadcrumbing you. So what they're doing is they're giving you just enough conversation to where you would continue to talk to them. Realize when you are being breadcrumbed on a dating app. Also, if someone throws you their phone number after one or two conversations, realize they are not serious. What they're doing is looking for you to call and chase them. They want you to do what they should be doing, to put in most of the effort to contact them. And what I find is this, when you start doing that, they almost always all the time never reciprocate because they're waiting on you to go ahead to continue to call and text them the minute you stop you probably won't even hear from them again the minute you realize that you are being toyed with do yourself a favor and politely walk away if you like the person have a conversation with them let them know this is what you see this is what's going on and see if y'all can fix it if you can't fix it, just go ahead and walk away. Me, I rarely have a conversation about being toyed with because I feel like this. We are old enough to where I shouldn't even be having this conversation, especially when I'm just now meeting you. So if this is the best you can give me, I'm not even going to waste any more of my time. And I politely walk away. Have a nice life because I will and, and keep moving. Let me know some of your dating essentials and if you can relate to mine. If you can relate to mine, put relate in the comments.